there, fellow homo sapien. Are you looking for a cool place to hang out? Are you looking for a place to spend your time because you have no life just like the rest of us? Well, come on down to Hardy's Cafe, a new Discord designed just for an amazing viewer like yourself. Be sure to check the link in the description to join the server and enjoy the video. Disclaimer, please do not go after anybody mentioned in this video. I'm here to talk about my experience, not start witch hunts. And please be respectful of others in the comments. Think before you reply, guys. I'd also like to just say that with recent world events going on, if you are in the United States, please stay safe, be cautious when outdoors, or in a public area that riots or protesting may be taking place. Stay safe, everyone. Be sure to look for the clown emoji. Comment the timestamp when you see it, along with something you guys might want me to say, and you may be one of the three people I shout out in my next video. All shoutouts will be at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Hey there, my fellow Hobo Sapiens. My name is Hodamix Smarty, and welcome back to your daily dose of drama video. Okay, so I don't plan on censoring names with this, since I'm pretty sure the person I'm talking about doesn't keep up with my content, and plus there's a few others in it, so it would be hard to keep track of. This story is, as the title says, my experience with a toxic friend. So it wasn't just me who had experiences with this person. During the time this went down, there was about six of us that were mainly involved. My friend group included myself, my boyfriend Tika, Joseph, Zach, Coda, and Dibble. I originally met the group through Joseph and had been talking to them from around January, and at the time it was March, I believe. I should probably make it known that Coda and Dibble had dated in the past, which is why Dibble is protective of her thoughts in the rest of the drama. Now, our group had its share of issues, but one day I was in a call with Dibble and Zach. Dibble had been talking about wanting to make profit due to being laid off from the COVID-19. His plan was to initially resell Rice Krispie Squares at his school, which he would buy in bulk for a cheap price and resell them to students. Now, I personally didn't see this as a great idea at the time. It seemed to me like he was conning people. <laughs> like, I mean, he wanted to sell food he didn't make for a different price. I don't really see that as valid to be honest, but like, whatever, you know? Dibble asked me for my opinion and I was truthful and told him I didn't see it as a good idea. I personally believe you should create things and make your own money off of that, not something else someone else has done. Then again, I'm a commentary YouTuber who also makes content based off drama, so... But that's that's not the point, okay? <laughs> he didn't exactly take this well and got pretty pissed off. Me and Zach were in a call like hella silent, to be honest. And with that, Dibble told me that he only was pissed off because he likes me and values my opinion. Then he left the call and I shook it off like it was nothing, and Zach asked me if I had heard what he said. I knew what he had said, but asked why he was talking about it, and Zach made it clear he said that Dibble claimed he liked me. Yeah, yikes. I immediately went to message Dibble and apologized because I didn't want to hurt his feelings, because I was unaware he took my opinion so seriously, when I didn't care about what he was going to really do in the end. Anyway, Dibble had asked me if I felt the same, in which case I didn't return his feelings, and always had seen him more of as a friend. In return, he just asked for an answer so he could move on. At the time, I, I didn't really give him an answer. I felt like garbage because we had a fight, and then he told me he had feelings for me. Like, well, you can't, you can't do that! It's not and like, okay, the way I reacted wasn't really good either, but like, you know, I was taken by what he had said, so it's like, we're not gonna talk about it. Fast forward a while, I had started talking to Teacup, who at the time I hadn't talked to much, and we got closer. Now the problem with me and Teacup being close is that Teacup and Dibble had been friends for a few years. So you can kind of see where this is going, right? Joseph dragged me into a call at 1am once with Dibble and they tried to lecture me about how liking Teacup wasn't right because Dibble liked me and the whole situation could ruin their friendship, which I considered stupid, I was really pissed. Now please don't go thinking Joseph is a bad guy. I admit me not admitting that I had feelings for Dibble wasn't right but neither was what Dibble had done. This whole thing had me upset, and it was all because I didn't return feelings for some guy. This wasn't the only issue I've had with Dibble. After attempting to guilt trip me into a relationship and mess up something I had going, he got mad at our whole group. Dibble was pissed at the fact that our group didn't have similar games as him and that he claimed our group was immature. Excuse me? <laughs> this had everyone pissed off because we were a group of kids. If he wanted new friends, why couldn't he go make new ones? He wanted us to change to how he wanted us to be. After this, he left. 
and our friend group was recovering from the whole thing. Dibble had messaged Teacup and began bashing everyone behind the group's back. I only know about this because Teacup had sent me proof of the DMs. We sent this in the group chat so that Zach and Joseph could see what Dibble had done. At the time, Coda had left the group, but she will be more relevant later, <laughs> so we were all pissed. And that was pretty much that, you know? I only decided to make a video now because recently, a girl who was in our friend group had decided to leave. Now I see why she would have wanted to leave, but that isn't relevant and it's besides the point. Teacup had messaged her to see if everything was okay and she claimed that Dibble had told her about our friend group and she was no longer comfortable with being in it. I had messaged her and she didn't disclose with me what exactly he had said to her, but he did try to contact her to change her impression of our group. He did the same with Coda. He told her stuff members of our friend group had said about her and she no longer likes us as well. Coda, I love you, hello? I think that's pretty much everything for the time being. Anyway, Dibble had manipulated us and tried to control our friend group. On behalf of my friend group, we're glad to be rid of him. If by chance, Dibble, you were seeing this, sorry it had to be this way. But with that said, thank you guys for tuning into my experience with a toxic friend. I honestly hope you guys are all safe at home during these times. If you or anyone you know may be experiencing a similar thing like this, please reach out. As always, I'd love to hear what you guys think, so be sure to leave a comment down below. Be sure to join my Discord, which can be found in the description and check out my community tab for updates and to vote on future video topics. If you're up for it, feel free to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more quality content. Now let's do some shoutouts real quick to end off this video. Thank you, Obelsoft, my guy, what's up? Fries at 11.33 and say Leafy has a chin. Leafy has a chin. It's confirmed. Right here, folks, you heard it. Oh no, this name, Ivana Kostovska. I'm so sorry. I found the fries, they're at 11.33, and say, I'm dank, in your weird voice. I'm dank, Uwu. God, I'm, I'm so sorry. Ray Corvus said, fries at 11.33, can you tell my cat Victor, like in my icon, that you think he's handsome? Thank you for being you. Oh, Victor, look at the little guy, look at the kitty guys, look at him. He's a handsome boy. And thank you for being you, I appreciate that. Fan out, short outs time, game, short outs, short outs time. <laughs> okay, let's just do some fan out, short outs, okay? Fan out, short outs go to my girl Sweaty. Thank you, BB. I love this, as always. Your work is amazing. Onion Man, I love this art style. Honestly, it's so cute. Thank you. I am Duff. Thank you so much for submitting your fan art. It's beautiful. I love it. Thank you. And Alfredo, thank you. If you want to submit fan art, you can do so by adding me on Twitter at HardyMixSmarty or submitting it into the fan art channel in my Discord, which can be located under the images category. And my Discord is always in the description of my videos as well. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all so much. Talk hard, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.